Brand new series, The Jury's Out. That's where Dan Abrams gives us his blunt take on the day's most provocative topics. Dan, you are back. Let's get right to it. All right, guys. First up on the docket, a suburban Los Angeles district now monitoring social media accounts of all middle and high school students searching for possible violence, drug use, suicidal threats, etc. For $40,500 a year, they've hired an outside company to send them a daily report about students' social media activity. My take. I don't have a problem with it. These are comments on public forums, and already one student was talking about ending his life has been helped. As long as the school uses it to help students as opposed to punish them for saying something stupid, I am all for it. But where's that line? That's the question, right? I mean, the question is, what could the school do with it? I'm saying they can look at whatever they want. Amen. And do Nancy Grayson vehemently agree with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to sound like I don't agree with you. Agree. But no. I totally yes. agree with you. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say absolutely, positively, solidly no. Why? This information is going out. It's directed to someone else. It's not directed to the school. So to me, that's like it's you listening in on my private conversation with my friends. So I'm going to say absolutely no. I think it's wrong, wrong, wrong. I think if, if it can help bullying, if we, if we can help stop the that problem. The, first the, the question is, do you trust do the school, right? No, because what yeah. could the school do with that information? What Let's could go. they do with it? Well, they could they could use it. They could send it to the police if someone puts up a gun or something on uh, Well, on isn't social that, media. Is that a good okay. thing? No. Yeah. I don't know. Is it a good thing? That's yes. the question. That's why this is so fascinating. <laughs> and the jury is still out. And the, the jury, jury is, is out. out. But you're talking about all the extremes. You're just not talking about the regular conversations that happen. Sure, the extremes of suicide, gunplay, things like that. Somebody should get involved, and that's yeah. obvious. Let's go to Twitter. Uh, here's what some of you had to say. Um, what do we got? We got uh, C. Gonzalez, student social media is their private activity on their own time, up to parents to monitor. Amen. Not Big Brother. Amen. Next on the docket, so-called fat letters in up to 20 states. Some parents will soon be getting sealed letters from schools informing them that their kids are at risk of obesity based on their body mass index, or BMI. Many now complaining that those notes will lead to more self-esteem issues in kids. What's your take? My take. <laughs> These letters may very well harm student self-esteem. Yeah, in the same way a bad report card does, not making a team does, nope. or any other not-so-positive nope. report nope. from a school, but in a nation where 30% of children and teens are overweight or obese, look, Robin's raising her hand, it's a good thing, and it's the parents' job to translate the bad news to the kids. Not in a non insulting okay, way. Okay. Yeah. I, I remember when Sam was talking about this. You cannot, as a school, eliminate physical education and, and then, then have the nerve out. to send letters out when you are not helping these children, which is a, it's a community thing. And yes, it starts at home too. But I have a problem with physical education being eliminated from a mm -hmm. lot of schools mm -hmm. and a lot of activities. In the and same then, school, soda machines mm -hmm. being sold, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. machines with fatty foods But do you have a sold. problem with the letter show? I absolutely yep. do. I think, I think school is a minefield for children, especially in this day and age, especially with things like social media existing. And I think the more we can take uh, the, the bugaboo of school being a place where you're just going to suffer every day away. But you, these the, are sealed this letters is, to the parents. They're not to the kids in their but private. But you know the information gets out and it, I, I, I worry it could lead to more bullying I feel like it's a, a source of embarrassment I don't want a child I, I don't say, want a school deciding that anyway and here's here's Sam's take not your job not your job your job is it's to educated. give them education get them in school it's, take care of them a, my job as a parent everyone's job as a parent is to watch their weight not your job all right uh, real quick Ooh, that's uh, a real libertarian <laughs> yeah. we got one uh, I think it's a horrible idea we'll begin the festering and bullying and eating disorders yep. uh, amen uh, all right uh, eight, minute, eight, minute, eight minutes eight minutes do we have time for our last yeah. one? Well, let's just all right. sure all right our last item on the docket this morning the family dinner an article in the Wall Street Journal this morning focuses on it cite studies that highlight the importance of this tradition apparently adding even three and a half minutes to dinner can make a big difference Absolutely. to your kids weight yeah. and well-being okay. my take. Your take. Yeah, that's great in a perfect world longer dinners are terrific in a real world a lot of us just can't do it this isn't about stopwatches parents don't need another reason to feel guilty here as long as you can quality quality quality, quality. quality, quality.